chapter 3075 begins with Catherine, expressing curiosity about the mysterious old friend her mother plans to visit. However, Matriarch Farrell is evasive, refusing to reveal the identity of this person. Instead, she focuses on instructing Catherine on managing the family's affairs in her absence. She emphasizes the importance of Catherine learning to handle the family business independently as she cannot rely on her mother forever. Despite their differences, Matriarch Farrell expresses her trust in Catherine's abilities, recalling how well Catherine managed the household during her previous trip to Wiltspoon. After Catherine heads upstairs, Matriarch Farrell is left alone with her thoughts. She pulls out a necklace she wears constantly, a piece of jewelry that holds a deep secret. Hidden within the pendant is a small photo of a man, her eldest sister's assistant, whom she secretly loved. The photograph is a keepsake from a time long past, a reminder of the man who ever held a place in her heart. Even though this man never reciprocated her feelings, instead devoting himself entirely to her elder sister, Matriarch Farrell has kept his memory alive, clinging to this small memento as a symbol of her unrequited love. This man, who Matriarch Farrell loved silently for decades, was her first and only love. Her feelings for him were never expressed, as he only saw her as a second lady of the house, a child to be protected rather than a woman to be loved. His devotion to her elder sister was absolute, and Matriarch Farrell, despite her power and influence, could never compete with the memory of the sister who raised her. Reflecting on her past, she acknowledges that she married Holden not out of love but out of necessity. She needed a husband and children to secure her position and ensure the continuation of her hard-won power. Despite this pragmatic approach to marriage, she has always harbored feelings for her sister's assistant, a fact that she kept hidden from everyone including her family. This secret is symbolized by the photo in her pendant, which she has never shown to anyone, preferring to keep this piece of her heart locked away. As she sits in her living room, she falls asleep and is haunted by dreams of her past. In her dreams, she sees the man she loved, her elder sister, and the younger sister they both cared for. These dreams take her back to her childhood, where her elder sister played the role of both mother and protector after their own mother's death. Matriarch Farrell's memories are bittersweet, filled with both the warmth of her sister's love and the guilt of the betrayal that would later define her life. Upon waking, she finds her face wet with tears, a rare display of emotion from a woman known for her stoicism and strength. She quickly wipes away the tears, fearful that anyone might see her in such a vulnerable state. Despite her tough exterior, the memories of her past and the choices she made continue to haunt her. She reflects on the regret she feels, but knows that it is too late to change anything. The deeds have been done, and regret cannot undo them. The chapter concludes with Matriarch Farrell, whispering to herself, asking her sister not to blame her for the choices she made. Despite her attempts to justify her actions, it is clear that the guilt weighs heavily on her. The television 
which had been left on, lays in the background, but Matriarch Farrell pays it no attention, lost in her thoughts until the break of dawn.